I want to talk about that police dog. Let's go ahead and talk about that. For those of you who haven't haven't seen it, there's a video going around. Just go ahead and pop in your search engine. Shot cop shoots dog. It's basically of a guy filming cops while they arrest somebody. They're doing something. There's like four or five deep of them. But don't get the illusion that when cops are four or five deep, they're doing anything. Because cops go four or five deep to auto wrecks. And that's mainly to ride the clock until it's time to get off their shift. And it makes it seem like they were trying to do something. Like, for example, if their shift supervisor comes by and goes, Where were you at at this time? Oh, I was, I was responding to that wreck. When they're really, they're just going to sit there and talk without listening over the radio so nobody can overhear them. That's what they're really doing. I mean, everybody does it. I'm not going to fault them for, you know, riding the clock. Riding the clock is pretty much like an American pastime. But, either way, regardless, um, oh, there's the followers hideout. I wonder if we can go up into it. Either way, but, but um, they were doing something, and there, there were a bunch of them walking around. They weren't in any real danger. For some reason, they felt like they were escalating. They, that the guy videotaping them with the dog was escalating the danger. Hello. Of um. Can't sleep in any of these beds. Talk to her. Someone killed Benny, the chairman's big shot, in his own casino. Violence begets violence. Right. What was I talking about? Oh. But th there was nothing. You could tell by the video. There was nothing actually happening. Period. I mean, like. I meant the wrong way. Let's go this way. But nothing was actually happening. There was no danger around. There was no threat. And, like, most of them didn't even care. Most of them were, like, walking hand to hand, talking to each other. And for some reason, they got upset and they felt like they could push this guy around. And arrest him. And he's seen it come. And so he decides to take his dog and put it in his car. Well, he left one of the windows, like, cracked. So that the dog could, like, would, wouldn't, so the dog wouldn't be stifled and have no air. Well, the dog, seeing his owner getting, you know, roughhoused by these cops that were just wanted to prove a point. I mean, you could tell they just wanted to prove a point. So he's getting roughhoused by these damn cops. And... Being rough with him, so the dog's freaking out. He's like, rrr, 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 rrr. and he ends up getting out the window. He like squeezes through the window to try to get to his, get to his papa, and he he runs up to them and he stops, and he like starts barking at them, and like, uh, one cop comes to like try to grab his leash and he like jumps back, and as soon as he jumps back, the cop pulls his pistol and shoots him four times. For those of you who are unaware about dogs or never really dealt with a scenario where a dog is, you know, coming at you in a in a very scary way. I mean, like, it's a scary thing. I don't I don't feel like the cop, I, I feel like a, a 80 pound Rottweiler would be a scary thing to come up against. But the fact is, when you deliver pizza or mail or a UPS guy, you've ran into the situation where you've came across a, um, a dog that wasn't on a leash that wanted to come at you more times than one and there's a couple things that you do in that situation one you have a, a, a little thing of Hawkeye spray with you Hawkeye is a is a kind of mace designed specifically for dogs that's really mild but it's enough to deter them It's a deterrent or you know you just notice the body lines an 80 pound Rottweiler is a kind of is a big dog it's a heavy dog and generally rottweilers they like to throw their body at you when they're attacking you they'll come in they'll, they'll they'll basically try to bite and throw the body into you or like throw it behind you after they bite and what this does is it it gets you to the ground that's that's their attacking motion this dog wasn't attacking this dog was being concerned about its master that's exactly what it was i could tell you that's exactly what it was you might, you might be wrong. I'm, even if I am wrong, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. There was three cops there. You trying to tell me three cops couldn't get a guy, get a, get a dog, off a guy? Let's go. Well, let's look at the other alternatives to three cops. Let's look. Uh, just using physical force. You're a cop. You have mace on your belt. You have a, ta you have a, you have a taser on your belt. 
Both of these are perfectly in, perfectly capable of taking out an 80 pound Rottweiler without killing it. Especially after the fact that you're um, that you're just being a butt just to be a butt. Because it's not against the law of the film, cops. Not even in California. They can tell you that it's against the law of California, but it's 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 under certain situations. It's not. I mean, if they tell you it's different, you're bullshitting. The only reason they would be they would try to make it against the law is to reduce liability towards themselves. Gonna fix this bitch. Now you take care of that. That's kind of kind of sucks that we're killing killing puppies right now. But that's the idea, dude. Like. And, and just imagine the feeling of this guy when he when he's sitting there watching his baby just get shot while he could, there's nothing he could do. He just let out this gut-wrenching scream. And I think that's the worst part of the video. It's not watching the dog twitch and things like that. It's just hearing the owner of the dog sit there. He let out a scream a child would let out. And it's like, man, dude, I, I know what you're feeling, dude. And it was just cold-blooded. Like, how can you go to work and, and feel good about yourself at the end of the day? And, and the worst part of it all is the cop that did it, he's like a, um, where's his computer? He's already under wraps for being over aggressive, like pr pl pl police brutality and that kind of thing. He's already under investigation for that. Move. That's right there should be one of them. I guess I guess it's a part of the bigger one. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to do this puzzle. Balance is relentished. Oh, I got it. Okay. If you haven't seen it, just put in cops versus dog. And let me go ahead and talk about this part of it. Let me talk about this part of it. The Hawthorne Police Facebook basically states this they, they put a press release out saying that the officer was not at any fault and it was lawful and the guy's actions was unlawful which you know the thing about laws is there are so many fucking many laws it's ridiculous they have a job called a law maker and they make laws every day of the week and those laws don't even stick to certain areas of the states but whatever what, what the cops felt like they were being intrusive, which, and me, I felt like they were just trying to, you know, show who had the bigger dick and who was in control. Cops like to do that. If you guys remember the uh, old situation with a guy who wanted to kind of like debate where he, whether he was speeding or not on the highway and he ends up getting tased, and the first thing the cop says when the other cop comes is like, this guy felt like he was in control. It's like, come on, dude, you're a public servant. Your job isn't to get angry and feel like who's in control or not. You're if you you're that kind of person, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't have a badge on you. A person with a badge should be a medium. He should be level-headed and he should basically respect others, even if he thinks the other person is a creep. That's his job. Like that, that's like saying the fact is we uphold people that serve food for five dollars an hour to a higher standard than we do police. Just imagine if a McDonald's employee thought that you weren't, you didn't have enough money to pay for your burger, and he decided not to take your order. It's fucking bullshit. Whatever. These cops killed this man's dog, and he's going. They're going to get away with it. They're going to get no kind of restrictions, even with all the the media backlash. And you know what? If this if the situation was flipped, let's say that a cop would a cop brung a canine into an area and. Uh, and the canine decided to uh, to you know, growl and bark at somebody else, and they shot it. You go to jail for for uh, killing a cop. There's no there is it's a double standard, and it's bullshit. And I don't like it. <laughs>